Hey guys, welcome to beautiful Jasper National Park. I'm standing here in super cold weather, <laughs> but I've got a abs challenge for you today. Now this is going to be a 10 minute full core workout. It's a challenge because it's gonna be really tough and what I want you to do is try to make it all the way through. Now you're gonna do that every day and then wherever you stop, that's where you stop and each day you go further and further to a point where hopefully you can do the whole routine twice or three times through. So if you're ready, you're not gonna need any props, just your mat and yourself. Let's do it. All right guys, so we're gonna start today on your mats. Starting with our rolling like a ball, holding underneath the knees. Roll yourself over to the shoulders and up for one. Roll it back and bring it up for two. Now the challenge of this exercise is to keep those feet from touching the ground. So really using your core as you come up and holding it there. Awesome, keep going. Awesome, now last one, roll it back and come up to boat posture, holding here for a moment, releasing the hands forward, breathing. Now for the next exercise, boat to canoe, you can modify but bring the hands down or keep them in front of you. Let's go 10 times, extend and bring it in. Two, three, four. Keep going you guys, don't give up. You have to take it a little slower pace, that's okay. Just keep staying with this exercise. And last one, hold it. Next exercise, seated bicycles, extend one knee and switch. Three, four, five, six, seven. You got eight more, keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one, awesome. Hold it here, and then slowly take yourself all the way down. Next exercise, go ahead, bring that straight leg up, single leg crunch, reach, and bring it down. Eight times, lift, and two. Your other knee stays close to your chest here. Four. Making sure those elbows are pointed to the side, supporting your head, supporting your neck here. Last one, let's do bicycle kicks. Go ahead, 16, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Keep pushing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Good job. All right, guys, let's get ready for a folded roll up. What you're going to do is extend your legs and arms, roll yourself over to forward fold, come on up into straight back, and then rounding down through each vertebra of your spine. Keep going. Keeping up the tempo here, so you're keeping the heart rate up. And down, that's two, we're doing five. Roll up, forward fold, up, and down. Good, two more. Forward fold, lengthen the spine, take it down, and last one. Roll it up, forward fold, come on up to straight back. And then from here, coming down about halfway, right knee to chest, and then making your way over to your mat. We're gonna reverse now, other leg. First, go ahead and lift your left leg off the mat. Single leg crunch, and down. Two, three, four, keeping those elbows pointed to the side. Six, last two, seven, last one. Get ready for bicycles, and crunch it. 16, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Bring them in and then release. Let's just give ourselves a quick little stretch here, lifting into a bridge, engaging your core, engaging your glutes. And slowly when you're ready, make your way back down onto your back. 
All right, you guys, let's get ready for some more core work. Extend your legs. We're gonna start with our slow motion scissor kick. So roll yourself up. One leg down, other leg up, hold, and switch. One, and switch, two. Try to keep those shoulders above the ground. If this is too difficult, you can start by keeping your whole body, including your head, on the floor. Nice and slow and controlled. And last one, hold it here, around the world, big arms around, and one. Big circle with the arms in, two. Try to keep those legs straight. If the legs are getting a little tired, you're more than welcome to bend that top knee. Good, big circles with the arms. Almost done here, moving over to our scissor kicks a little faster this time. Hold it up and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, eight. Awesome, legs up. Switching to the other side. Around the world, one more time. Now opposite leg is up. Two, big circle with the arms and three. Four, you're halfway there, you guys. Try to keep that other leg hovering above the ground. You can do it, push through the pain. Good job, last one. I want you to hold scissor kicks one more time. Go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful job, legs up. Drop the head down, quick little stretch. Hands behind the head. Going into cross toe touches, reaching for the opposite pinky toe with your hand, and then bring it back to center. Reach, center. Three, four. Try to challenge yourself and keep those shoulders above the mat. Try to have physical contact with the fingers and the pinky toe. Reach it up, you're almost done. Engaging those obliques here. And two, one, awesome, back to center, point your toes. And then from here, coming into Pilates stands, just lowering the legs and up for one. Two, we're calling them baby leg drops because it's not about lowering the legs as far as you can go. It's about keeping that lumbar spine grounded. Good, just little movements here. And last one. And you're done, awesome. Give yourself a quick little break. And let's prepare ourselves for a full leg drop. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands underneath your sit bones or your tailbone, lower the legs, and then bring it back up for one. Flex as you lower and lift as you point the toes. Lower and up for three. This time you wanna try and get those legs as low as possible, but again, without arching that lumbar spine. If you feel your back wanting to arch, you're gonna stop right there. Last one, flex your feet, bring it up, and now scissor crosses, just cross your ankles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, hold. Now let's take our rolling like a ball four more times just to get ourselves back up to seated position. Come on up and hold, remembering to keep that core engaged as you come up. Awesome, last one. As you come up to seated bow posture, hold, extend the arms. Breathe, find your center, find your balance. Awesome. All right, let's cross the feet and let's come on over to our hands and knees. So transition any way you like. We're gonna get into our plank position first on your hands and then come on over to your elbows. Next exercise is just an elbow plank for 30 seconds. Focusing all of your attention on your breath. Imagine like there's a ruler on top of your back. You want to match the ruler with your whole body here. You're almost done. And then get ready to do the kicking dolphin. So what it is, you're just going to lift into a dolphin, come back to plank, and then lift one leg at a time. Ready? You're almost done. Take a deep breath in as you lift into the dolphin. Exhale back to plank. Lift your right leg up, kick it. Left leg kick, engaging the glutes here. Dolphin, plank, kick, and kick. Nice, keep going. Dolphin, plank, kick, and kick. When you do the kicks, I want you to really feel that engagement in the glutes. And kick, beautiful, keep going. Kick, 
and kick. You're almost there, you guys. Keep pushing through it. I'm so proud of you for making it all the way through. You're almost done this class. And kick, and kick, last one, dolphin. And two more kicks, and then get ready for hip dips. 20 times, touch each hip to the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more, you guys. Keep going, working those obliques, working the waistline with this exercise. And three, two, one, awesome. Hold your last plank here, 30 seconds. Focus all of your energy on holding this last position and then you're done. Breathe, remember to breathe. Inhale into your nose, exhale through your mouth. Stay strong, you're almost there. Three, two, one, and you're done. Awesome, you guys, stretch it out. Stretch those abs out and baby cobra. And then get yourself right up to your seated position on your mat. Well done, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on our abs challenge. If you're up for it, do this routine one more time through. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos and follow our adventure through our social media such as Facebook and Instagram. And if you haven't had a chance yet, feel free to check out our new DVD and downloadable package called Boho Beautiful in 10 Days. Thanks again and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye!